Hey guys, welcome back to another alternate history of the road. Today we're going to be, well, we're going to start off with, I think I might have to play like this, play something like this again because of how the glitch in our computer's working. Actually, no, I don't. All I, yeah, I don't need to. Because I have this for the color stuff. And, but anyways, to start off, we have the UK. The UK is, is adventuring more into the Americas. And meeting up with the rivers and lakes. And they decide to make their borders there. And then they decide to also expand up a bit into like into Quebec. I don't think I'm pretty sure this isn't our old map. I don't know if this is our old map or not, but it shouldn't be. At least we're going. At least Crimea starts. Starts expanding this way into like into North Macedonia and expanding and going north, meeting up with their ally Rome, meeting up with their ally Rome. Meanwhile, Mesopotamia is taking control of of the rest of the. Uh, I think this is the Red Sea. I don't, know, I don't I don't really follow I don't really like seas that much but they expand more into going up and they and they try they spearhead up just in case they find anyone and they do end up taking some stuff as they start an invasion into Crimea, which starts off slow, but then Crimea just, Crimea I guess to help from the Romans, and they're able to take a lot of stuff, so, so it's kind of right after they, they got the whole entire sea over there, they got it taken away. And they're also put under, they're also put under strict, strict stuff, which me, I'm going to put a color here. This color is where they, oh, here. Nah, I got it. This area right here is a, they get the blue, the blue Crimea gets a puppet there and um, I think this is the UK's color so the U the UK kind of takes more stuff and gets in a war for the Spanish which the Spanish goes through and uses their navy to make a landing on the side. They then take the Moroc the parts that they wanted and try to peace out but but the but the UK doesn't want to, obviously. And their capital is right here and this this kind this allows them to they use the power from of people revolting to for their own good, but eventually the revolts are crushed by the Spanish, and the Spanish cut off this area. But then the UK takes it back, and they and this is a peace treaty. 
Nou, de spin, de spin is geen. Wait, is that even the Spanish? Yeah, this is the Spanish. But anyways, they gain Morocco, but they lose some land up here. Okay. So, so the next thing that's gonna happen is the next. So, what's gonna happen is is cry is rush over here. Rush over here will expand. Uh, well, expand over here, and also going to war with Crimea. But since Crimea has is stronger than them, they push through and capture their capital. But they they take it back, and I shouldn't be doing it with with the huge one. And I don't know what I just did there. Uh, but anyways, they Crimea captures this part, and they and they decide to keep up with a lot of stuff and use and use uh, companies in here that are controlled by Crimea to start sending people to revolt and taking which two of them are successful which take which connect to that but the rest of them are not this allows Russia to this allows Russia to take part of the company but then Crimea Crimea starts pushing up and regains a lot of the lands that they lost and then they make the peace treaty, but Russia gets back their capital in one way or another. They get it like that. So, so Russia couldn't take Crimea, but but Scandinavia comes. Scandinavia will come down to near Russia, and they'll. Also take a lot, some land, and then negotiate for some land too. They decide that they'll give Russia this much land for this much that I, that I accidentally took before. So that's what's gonna happen. And they also become, they also ally together. And Russia connects down with with their enemy, Mesopotamia. Well, one of their enemies. So they're kind of surrounded by enemies. Down here in Greece. I just need to paint there, just pretend like that's not there, but down there in Greece, the Turkish start, start a war, and they end up winning the war, which they just annex it all, and a surprise, after that, they go after Mesopotamia, and somehow are actually winning. Russia finds it as the perfect time to start going down here and taking. So that's what they do. They have to take a bunch more land out of it. And they take that. And basically this could be the end of Mesopotamia. As Crimea uses their public state to push down taking the whole entire sea and eventually they also start helping so this Mesopotamia turns in 
forms a different empire, which is Waktus War, which has is almost about finished. So the Mesopotamia decides to uh, Mesopotamia decides to change their name to they decide to change their name to they change their name to Iraq instead of Mesopotamia. So what they do next is they decide to immediately the 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 Turkish or what is now the which now call themselves the Ottomans will start taking a bunch of land. Also there's meant to be borders around the seas and stuff, but it just keeps overlapping it. So there would be borders like around here which, which would cut down the land of the Ottomans in almost every single country in this timeline but I just ignored the borders mostly and and the Ottomans start with immediately pushing down into Saudi Arabia and taking almost all of it but Saudi Arabia surprisingly makes a push in and uses the revolt to connect. But the Ottomans use tactics to and it's, they would have made about like this the peace treaty, but instead they make the peace treaty them taking them and then making a pub state of it. Which the public states basically just oh. now it should work. That part's good then. That part and anyway. uh is tall. Tolerance zero. Tolerance nine. Alright, they still make a public state. Anyways, they start an adventure to Africa. Taking this and going to war Somalia. They win the war and they start to take. Oh. Wrong color. They take all of that and they go to war with the Romans, which gets, uh, well, I guess some beat. And, and they, and they lose a bunch of land. They decide to not accept the peace treaty, and instead, they decide to make a different peace treaty. They lose some land in Greece and all they accept to really lose is dualism. And the Romans accept this. France is, France is reborn but as Brittany It and Germany also comes back. They basically need themselves the first right kind of, but there they are, and they expand up into here, and they win a war straight for with Crimea at the start and. And the Romans helped them, so and the Romans helped Crimea, so the Romans also lost some land. So Germany is pretty big. We have the red, 
we have many people that found about the rest of Africa have decided to create their own country, which will be the whole entire of Africa. They call it United Africa. But right away, another a country breaks off, which calls themselves the Northern African Federation. And Egypt decides to join them with with UK trading a part of land to get uh well to get this part of the land over here or that but this is probably going to be the end of this video so so I'll see you guys in the next video and